Welcome to the MTM Learning Hub, and today we will continue our journey into the fascinating world of research with our lesson, the four-step method for stating a research problem and research objective. Researchers can use the four-step method to state a research problem and establish the research objective. This time, let us now discuss each of the methods. The first step is express the base statement. This base statement is based on the past research findings, theory, practice, or a situation concerning a current issue. This first step involves articulating a clear and a concise foundation for the research by referencing existing literature, established theories, and practical experiences or current issues. By grounding the research problem in past findings or real-world context, the researcher provides a solid basis that highlights the relevance and necessity of the study. This step ensures that the problem is well-defined and rooted in credible and relevant sources, setting the stage for a focused and meaningful investigation. The second step is to reveal statements that are inconsistent with a base statement. These inconsistent or conflict, conflicting statements are based on past research findings, theories, or practice. A problem exists when there are statements that are inconsistent or conflict with the base statement. These conflicting statements arise from past research findings, theoretical perspectives, or practical experiences that challenge or contradict the initial base statement. By identifying and highlighting these inconsistencies, the researcher demonstrates the existence of a problem that needs to be addressed. This step underscores the complexity of the issue and justifies the need for further investigation to resolve the discrepancies and advance understanding. Step 3 is to express speculations based on the inconsistent statements. These speculations based on the inconsistent or conflicting statements need to be studied. In the third step, these speculations are derived from the conflicting findings or theories identified in the previous step and suggest potential explanations or hypotheses that require further examination. By articulating these speculations, the researcher outlines specific aspects of the problem that need to be explored to reconcile the inconsistency. And this step highlights the area of uncertainty and directs the focus of the research towards addressing these speculative questions, thereby advancing knowledge in the field. The fourth step is to develop the research objectives. State the research objectives based on the speculations. In this step, these objectives are derived directly from the speculations based on the inconsistent statements identified earlier. Research objectives clearly outline the specific goals the study aims to achieve in order to address the speculative questions and reconcile the inconsistencies. By defining these objectives, the researcher provides a focused and structured plan for the study ensuring that each objective is targeted towards resolving the identified problem and advancing understanding in the area of interest. This time, let us study two examples that show how the four-step method is applied to identify the research problem and research objective. A study reported that excellent school principals practice a democratic leadership style or giving the school teachers the right to make their own decisions on teaching methods. However, several other past researchers reported that there were excellent school principals who practice an autocratic leadership style, in which the teachers have no right to determine their own teaching methods, and the principal have the final say in all decisions. This example shows inconsistency in the past research findings. And this research problem guides the researcher to state his research speculation and establish his research objective. By revealing the inconsistent statement, expressing speculations, and developing the objective, 
Through the four-step method, the researchers can systematically and clearly write a research objective that is consistent with the problem. And this is how we present the research problem and research objective of the given scenario in a tabular form. Step one, base statement. According to Long Hall in 2012, excellent school principals practice a democratic leadership style or giving the school teachers the right to make their own decisions on teaching methods. And we have here the inconsistent statement that according to Kim in 2011, Excellent school principals practice an autocratic leadership style in which the teacher have no right to determine their own teaching method and the principal have the final say in all decision. Because of the two inconsistent statements, we can have this speculation. So what is the leadership style of excellent school principal in my target research local, which is the XYZ North District? Is it the autocratic or a democratic style? And because of that speculation, we can have our research objective. The objective of this study is to examine the leadership style of a group of school principal in XYZ North District. As you can see, speculation and research objectives are coming from or anchored on the base statement and the inconsistent statement. These steps are important because they provide a systematic approach to identify and addressing research problems. Expressing the base statement ensures that a problem is grounded in credible sources, establishing its relevance. Revealing inconsistent statements highlights gaps or conflict in existing knowledge, underscoring the need for further investigation. And speculating on these inconsistencies guides the formulation of hypotheses and direct the research focus. Finally, developing clear research objectives ensures the study is structured and goal-oriented, increasing the likelihood of a meaningful and impactful findings. That concludes our lesson for today. I hope you learned something about the four-step methods for stating a research problem and research objectives. Thank you for joining and stay tuned for more lessons in research. See you next time.